Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to a very special player review with me, Boy Fifa One HD. We are going to be looking at the 89 rated foot birthday David Villa card. This is an amazing card that harks back to the David Villa of old that we know and we love and we've used over so many FIFA games. So before we get into this player review, it would mean a great deal to me if you would hammer that like button like there is absolutely no tomorrow. If you would hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and if you have any questions on David Villa or FIFA 17 in general, Put that all in the comments below. I will answer each and every single one of you. So, jumping right in, you see an awful lot of good green stats here. His acceleration, his sprint speed are back. He is a lot faster than uh, his, his sort of other cards in this game. And it is very, very nice indeed. His attack positioning is godly there at 96. His composure is also very good and agility and balance not too shabby either. Moving on, you see his ball control and his dribbling are absolutely superb. But where he really stands out is his finishing there at 96. This guy just barely ever misses. He is so clinical in front of goal. It is unreal. Penalties, good. Shot power, uh, very nice as well. Volley is also very neat and tidy. Five-star weak foot, which is always handy. Four-star skills, high-low work rates, which we love. And a load of specialities and traits, including dribbler. Distant shooter, free kick specialist, clinical finisher, and then finesse shot, flare, and long shot taker. So let's jump into the main block of the review. So my thoughts on the 89 rated David Villa card were that he was incredibly special and he felt that way. He felt amazing. And it was really nice using him because it made me reminisce about all the old David Villa cards that there have been over Ultimate Team. And that is mainly because of the pace upgrade, you know. He is so much quicker now and it feels perfect, feels just right. This is such a usable, such a great card. 87 pace, lovely, brilliant. He gets himself in time and time and again. Combine that with his good attack positioning. So he's always making good runs and he's now got the pace to really take himself past those defenders with absolute ease. What he also has is immense dribbling. His ball control, his agility, his dribbling skills are so, so good that when you combine it with his four-star skills, combine it with his pace, it is so easy to beat people, to get in behind, and just ultimately to create chances for him to score. And when he does get a chance, my God, does he finish it pretty much every single time. He is so clinical in front of goal. Easily one of the most clinical players I've ever used, especially in this Ultimate Team, but probably ever. He just seemed to finish every single chance that he got for me, and he made really good runs that it was just easy to make it happen, you know? And like I said, when he was in front of goal, whether it was a little tap-in, whether it was a one-on-one, -on -one, it was a long shot, a finesse shot from just outside the box, this guy was scoring it every single time. So precise with his finishing, the keepers really could do absolutely nothing about it. And that's why I loved him, because you buy this card for goals, and that is exactly what he delivers. He's got so many ways of scoring them. He's got such great options with his pace, with his skill moves, with his uh, dribbling ability, that he can create them absolutely easily himself, or he can be played in by his teammates. You could play him at maybe centre forward or cam if you wanted to, maybe to fit into a, a different sort of team. That is definitely an option because his pace would suit that. Amazing dribbling and passing. Also very good shooting. So you could definitely do that if you wanted to, but I think that would be an absolute waste. His price at the moment is all over the place. So it's hard to say whether he's worth it because there's so many other good David Villa cards that are really good, but none that quite come to this level. But the price is so much, you know, increased on what we can already buy. So it's a bit of a, a mismatch in that regard. Currently going for around sort of 260, 270, which is an awful lot of coins for a player that you will have to squeeze into a team. But still a very usable card nonetheless. That is why I've had to give him 9.5 out of 10. Because the only thing for me that let him down, which is something you can't really control, is his league. 
and that doesn't give you many options to use him in. Nothing wrong with the MLS League, of course, but just in terms of really high profile players, it does mean you're probably going to have to pull on that Spanish link quite a lot to fit him into a very, very high rated team. Overall, great player to use. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe and peace.